couple of weeks ago, I saw this gun at the flea market. I wasn't really sure what system it was for, despite the, the PlayStation branding on the gun, but I was pretty sure it was for the PS3. I didn't really pick it up or take a long look at it. But around the same time, I'm seeing all these videos about store closures for PlayStation 3, Vita, uh, PSP, although I haven't been on a PSP online storefront ever that I can remember. I just remember buying those games on Vita and PS3 and then downloading them onto my PSP. But regardless, I have bought stuff in the past, mainly PS1 games. Um, but I've been hearing little bits about my boys gaming off the grid, at gaming off the grid. They're uh, they're big into light gun games or uh, games with move controls. Wii, PS3, I guess the what the connect for the Xbox. I guess there's different ways to play light gun light games on these modern modern gen. Well, not modern gen, but systems that can be played on a, a television like this, a, a flat panel TV. So anyway, I was thinking about it. I got one Wii game, and it was that uh, uh, it's a real popular uh, Wii first party Nintendo title. Uh, Radiant Dawn, you know what I'm talking about, Fire Emblem, that Fire Emblem game that came out on the Wii. I took that down to the flea market and I got all this stuff. There was a couple of more games I got, actually. I got uh, Killzone 3. This has move controls. I don't know how arcadey this game actually is, but uh, it says on here that you can use the, uh, there it is, the picture of the rifle. So I'm assuming this is pretty fun. This is actually a brand new copy. Um, there was another one I got. It was... Uh, Resident Evil 5, I guess it has move controls. I don't know how that's going to be. I don't know if you can use a gun or anything like that. But anyway, I got those three games. Um, well, this is probably the, the main attraction right here. House of the Dead Overkill. We'll talk about this game in a minute. Uh, excellent game. Excellent game. There's another one I need, that Time Crisis game that has Time Crisis 4 on it with move control support. I don't believe the original Time Crisis 4 has support for the move controller it does have support for the gun con that came out with the sensors on the PS3, but they later re-released Time Crisis 4 in a collection that does have move controller support. But uh, this is absolutely incredible. But like again, we'll talk about that in a minute. So I got three games, although you can't see the other one. It's just Resident Evil 5, I think Gold Edition with move controller support. Now, I did see two Resident Evil 5s at the flea market. One, the case said it had move controller support, and the other one, the case did not, but it had a paper slip cover, so I don't know. I grabbed the one that said move controller support, so anyway, those three games. These two controllers, what you need to use in this gun, now this one, um, I just looked at the gun and figured that this went with it. These were all, I found all these at different places in the flea market, but I got these two controllers, this uh, really long USB cable. This was actually brand new in the, the packaging when I got it. I just opened it up. Uh, you need this camera. I don't know if you can use Sony or third-party cameras with a PlayStation 3. I'm not sure. Uh, again, found this at the flea market, and I had to piece this together. I wasn't really sure what I needed. And then this. And this is the, this is the thing that started it off right here. Um, doesn't feel like the most well-made uh, piece of plastic, but it does feel good. Uh, the controls are sharp. I mean, this is a lot better, at least for me, than using a Wiimote and a Nyko Perfect Shot. Uh, but although there are Nyko Perfect Shots for the PS3, apparently, and you know, I was texting back and forth with Gaming Off the Grid, they say those things are uh, pretty rare. So hopefully I'll find one, but I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with this. It's got a collapsible stock. That's uh, It's really good to have a pivot point on your shoulder with these uh, arcade style of uh, light gun games. But yeah, so I got all this stuff. I feel like I got a good deal. I'm going to play this stuff a lot more than I am that uh, <laughs> that Wii uh, RPG. But another thing, and uh, we'll talk about some of the games here in a second, just what I've played so far. I am by no means an expert at this uh, move controller stuff. I'm just getting into it, and I'm just you know sharing it with you guys, but... Speaking of the PlayStation, uh, the Vita, the PS3, the PSP stores going down, I just want to show you some of the stuff that I downloaded the other day and kind of what I have on my PS3 because I do use it as my central hub for my Vita and my PSP, and I use it to download games onto. That's my most recent uh, PlayStation 3. I did have, I've owned a few of them in my day. I bought this one at a GameStop when they were at their cheapest point. It has a controller that's blue as well. Um, but that's what I use. I use a super slim. It's the most recent model, and that's what I rock with. I did have a slim. I got rid of it, and I got rid of my fat 
but I am keeping that. Um, at some point, if I do see another slim, I'm going to buy it because I like that slim, but the super slim, most recent model. Uh, anyway, so I started off with House of the Dead 4, uh, downloaded that, live streamed that. We'll talk about that in a minute. House of the Dead 3, and then this is, a, I think this is an alpha system shooter, but I downloaded that as well. So I downloaded those three games uh, the other day, but this is just an example of some of the stuff that I've had downloaded that maybe you played PS1 games on your PS3 in the past like myself. This is stuff that you might want to download, um, and there's some more stuff I need to comb through the store, but that's a pretty decent shooter. I mean, Gaia C, come on now. I've been looking for that for a long time. Uh, I do I do own that physically. Um this is a pretty good running gun shooter that never got a physical release for the 360. It's on the 360 storefront as well. So when this goes down, it'll probably still be up on the 360. So you'll probably still be able to play this. But when I owned my t-shirt shop, I actually made a, a t-shirt of this. And uh, man, I, it's a great game. Great game. Hardcore Uprising. It's uh, one of the most uh, recent, uh, recent Contra-like -like games that we've gotten. I'd say over the last, what, 10, 15 years, right? But anyway, just a bunch of PS1 games. I mean, you guys see it. This is stuff that, you know, Chrono Trigger, Grandia. I mean, I'd say probably download Grandia on your Switch now and play it. But, I mean, you, you can emulate it on your PS3. But there's some more stuff I need to go through. There was a couple other uh, imports and stuff like that that I want to download and I do need to go through the Vita store as well, but you can you can find Vita games on the PS3 storefront, download them to your PS3, and then download them to your Vita. So when I was down in the flea market, I had everybody scouring this place trying to piece this thing together for me. I actually found this, and when I found this, I knew, I was like, damn, there's going to be a chance that I could walk out of here and have every piece that I need to play move games when I leave out of here. So, first thing. This was the first thing that kind of really intrigued me. I was like, you can't fit two move controllers in here because this, this one's not big enough. But, and it took me a while. The owner of the place actually had to figure out the right way to kind of finesse this thing in here. But then you got that. And then you have this, which I am so careful not to break or crack the plastic on these things. But this one actually has a dock. You see that? It, it actually kind of goes into it. So I'm really careful to try to ease this thing in here. That's it. And I might not be doing this the right way, but that's it. Bam, there you go. So I keep using the words like gun, right? And the reason I say that is because this is a gun, and when you're actually in the middle of playing your game, the way it tracks you is this big rubber uh, light on the end. So is that is that not a like gun? I would say it's a like gun. But for all intents and purposes, no, this is not a like on. This is a PlayStation Move or a pair of PlayStation Move controllers uh, and a PlayStation Move system being tracked with this camera right here. And I don't know about you guys, but like my girlfriend, she has to like cover the camera on her laptop. She doesn't like any cameras out like her phone kind of freaks her out. I guess she thinks that uh, Big Brother is tracking her. So when she saw this thing plugged in, it lights up. There's little lights at the top of this thing. She saw it plugged in, dangling from the top, <laughs> the top of the TV. She didn't want to walk by it. But uh, this is everything that you need to get your, your light gun game or your PlayStation Move game going on your PlayStation 3. But also make sure you have a USB cable uh, like this. You know what I'm talking about. Old school USB. The PS3 USB cables. That way you can actually charge your controllers. I actually have two of these. That way you can charge both of your controllers or have a PlayStation Move dock, which is the next thing that I'll probably look for when I'm down in the flea market. Sir, what are my initial impressions on this PlayStation Move system or playing like on like games on real shooters primarily on this PlayStation 3? I'll just start off by saying this. I really like it. I like it a lot. As a matter of fact, I like it. it maybe it's just the fact that it's new to me. But I almost like it better than playing with a Wii mode, those Wii motion games. I really like this. I mean, it's, yeah, it's kind of gaudy, that big light ball on the top of the controller tracking you around with the camera. And I'm not really sure if you have a really, really well lit room, how that would affect your gameplay. Or if other light sources would affect your gameplay. But I really like what I played. I've really liked the games that I played, although I only played House of the Dead games. Right now you're seeing House of the Dead 4. This was me live streaming it the other night. I had a blast. I thought this was a really fun game. And I only played through it twice. 
what you're seeing right now and one other time and house of the dead overkill which is probably the only other like unlike game that i have although since the recording of this video i have actually downloaded house of the dead 3 you actually saw that earlier in the video uh, I just still haven't got around to playing it yet. I wanted to make sure that I had a physical or a physical, a digital copy on my PlayStation 3. Now, I do have a version of it on the Wii, but I, I just, I read some online forums and I just saw that, yeah, that the PlayStation 3, like the up res graphics, like that's what you want. Now, in House of the Dead Overkill, which I haven't dove too deep in yet, I did play through some of the mini games. And then if you saw some of the live stream, I, I did some of that. I dig it. I dig it. This has like a uh, house of the dead overkill has that house of a thousand corpses kind of uh, vibe to it. So I, I, I really like it. I really like what I've played so far. And I think the next game that I'm going to get is probably going to be that time crisis game. The one that has uh, the move controller support and that bundle of games together. I heard it's one of the pricier of the time crisis games. So let's just see if I can find it in my area. But if it's one of those games I can't find locally, you best believe I'm going right to eBay. We got another unboxing for you. This one's actually a brand new game. It's not like a used game that I ordered online. And I'm just opening the box to a used game. I have been known to do that. But, uh, you know, it's, it's fun, I guess. It's something I can upload to YouTube, right? But no, this was uh, DHL shipped. I really like DHL. Um, I, I just feel like everything that comes to me from DHL, specifically from Japan gets to me in really, really good condition, and it ships quick. I mean, my God, I order stuff from Amazon Japan. I get it just as fast, damn near, as I do from ordering it from Amazon here in the U.S., but here we go. What this is, this is Kogeki, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, Kogeki Quartet Fighters. Really, it's Quad Fighter K. Those of you that are in the shooter scene, maybe you've heard about Quad Fighter K. What exactly is Quad Fighter K? Pretty much Quad Fighter K is a modern day 8-bit style four-player caravan shooter. Oh, isn't that nice? The seller has a business card on there. Um, this did, this was not a cheap game. I think I paid, oh God, 60, 70 bucks for this. It wasn't cheap, right? Stupid. Why should I pay that much? I, I never see this. And that was, at the time, that was the cheapest listing that I could find it for. The company that actually made this game physical, B-Side Games, I don't even know if you can, if, if you live in the States, if you can order for them and have it shipped, but I'm sure if you do, it's not going to be super cheap. Although there is a seller on eBay right now. If you guys really want to know, I'll find the listing and send it to you. Just hit me up either on here or on social media, but there's a seller on eBay right now that has three copies that are selling it for $50 a clip. Brand new. That's cheaper than what I paid. I jump on that. I think that if you want this game, a physical version, again, I don't know if they're going to do Quad Fighter K. I mean, limited Run might pop up and do one. I don't know. But if you want it now, there's a seller that has three copies, 50 bucks a piece. Now, look at this. That's pretty bad. That's worse than Limited Run just tossing that little piece of paper in there that has a picture of the game that looks like a manual. This is worse than that. This is like modern day GameStop level bare bones-ness. Although I don't remember there being a, a download needed for the game. That's what you get. That's what you're going to get for the 50 bucks if you decide to buy it on eBay, which I recommend. I do recommend, but it, it's a pretty fun game. I'm into the retro graphics, the 8-bit stuff, the 16-bit stuff. I mean, that stuff translates so well on the Nintendo Switch. My God. The fact that you can flip it vertical and use a flip grip the only achilles heel in this whole thing you know i can i can even deal with the the first model switch and not having the greatest battery life the achilles heel is not having the d-pad oh god that kills me not having that d-pad i mean i got a hoary one but i have to use it on my switch i can't use it with a flip grip because then it won't get power there's no battery in it i think that the the solution here is third-party um, D-pad Joy-Cons, like a modded Joy-Con, pretty much. I don't know the accurateness. I don't know how great it's going to feel. You know, I don't know how good it's going to be. What did I say accurateness? <laughs> you know what I mean. I don't know how the D-pad's going to feel. I mean, in my mind, I want it to feel like a Super Nintendo-style D-pad. You know, that's the Nintendo D-pad. That's the, the style they went with. 
you know, Sega went with theirs, you know, Xbox has theirs, Nintendo has theirs, but yeah, this is Collaborative or Kogeki Quartet Fighters on the Nintendo Switch. Okay, so there's a demo for R-Type Final 2, and I didn't even know about this till I saw a social media post that said there was a demo for R-Type Final 2. I went into the eShop and didn't see anything, so I typed in R-Type and then scrolled all the way down to the bottom till I saw the pre-order for R-Type Final 2, and then I was able to click on and download the demo. I'm assuming it's probably the same for the PlayStation 4, Although I'm, I'm hoping it's a little bit easier to find the demo on the PlayStation 4. But yeah, it's just the first level. You can choose between three different ships. And um, I dig it. Well, at least what I've played so far. So this is the demo, the first playable level. I think it's the first playable level of R-Type Final 2. I just got a tooth out. I had a few days off of work. I actually had, I had to go to oral surgeon. To, oh, God, it was awful. Wasn't in that much pain, though, so thank God. This is actually my last day off before I go back to work, unfortunately. Yeah, I know, right? But I do have some vacation time coming up soon. And I did put in some of my vacation time for the Too Many Games convention that hopefully still will be taking place in October. But if they change it, hopefully they don't cancel it, but if they change it, I should be able to wiggle my way into that convention. But, uh, yeah, this demo is good enough for me to want this on the PS4 and the Nintendo Switch and... I know there's a collector's edition, so long as it comes with a soundtrack, I'll probably snag one of those too. Anyways, guys, get at me in the comments, get at me on social media. Sorry I haven't been active on YouTube. I've, I've been so busy. Oh my God. And then when I got my tooth out, I was just kind of laid up for a few days and I really just didn't even know what to do with so much time off, but I did want to contribute something to the community. And here we go. I'm going to have a lot of fun messing with those uh, those PlayStation Move games. I'm actually going to go hunt out Time Crisis, at least the, the, the pack of games that came out with the Move controls for the PlayStation 3. Anyways, guys, till next time. Peace.